Developing tonight, the Biden administration feeling the pressure to pass a new immigration bill after a federal judge in Texas ruled the Obama era program DACA is illegal. The program has allowed young undocumented immigrants to work in the U.S. without the fear of deportation. Our Jocelyn Moran live in studio tonight with the potential impact this could have for thousands of dreamers here in the Valley. Jocelyn, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, well, this doesn't affect those who are current DACA recipients or their renewals, but it blocks first time applicants. And now a local immigration attorney says those with pending first time applications are being left in limbo. The Obama era deferred action for childhood arrivals program taking another hit, leaving many first time applicants uncertain for their futures. When the opportunity came at the end of last year to start accepting new applications, people have been applying and many of those applications are still pending and apparently they're going to be on hold for now. And you have many cases. Like yes, and I'm sure there are many, many others in the Valley as well, because there are a lot of young undocumented um, immigrants in the Valley. I want to my education. I currently have a bachelor's, so I want to get my master's. We met a woman who didn't want her name or face shown. She says she applied for DACA for the first time in December. Having DACA would mean that I could get my master's. I need I need to work to get my master's because they're, they're requiring um, some some type of service hours. Um, what kind of profession do you want to go into? I want to be a um, physician assistant. The federal judge's decision now leaving many people like her wondering about their futures. They sent me a notice to do my biometrics in June, and I did my biometrics, but I haven't received anything as of June. So is it still pending? Yeah, it's still pending. It's still processing, reviewing. We submitted over 200 applications, so we have 200 clients right now who are technically in limbo. The next step and what we'll be looking for is to see if there's an appeal. In a statement, Valley Congressman David Valadeo says in part, quote, DACA recipients were brought to America through no fault of their own. They deserve their opportunity at the American dream. I am committed to working with my colleagues in Congress to pass legislation to create a pathway to citizenship for dreamers. All over my life, I was just scared of getting deported or my family getting deported. It's very scary to live in, in that situation. Since it began in 2012, DACA has allowed more than 800,000 young undocumented immigrants to work in the U.S. without the fear of deportation. Live in studio, Jocelyn Moran, KC24, local news that matters. Thank you, Jocelyn. If you're looking for a way to...